What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here today. Today we are uh, back out at the pond, which as you can see, it looks great. The pond is full. Um, now we still have some work with it to do with it. That is to put these giant structures in there, get a fountain and get some rock beds in there. Now those are basically the only things that really need doing in the pond and that's about it. So, but the other thing is to stock it afterwards. Um, now to do that, uh, I really need to know what I've got in the pond. Um, cause I've fished it day after day after day, but uh, nothing's really bitten. It was because some of the days were poor conditions. Yesterday I actually fished and the only thing um, that was wrong was the fact that it was a little cloudy. As we can see, the it is slightly cloudy, but the sun is still out and about. So uh, it'll be easier for them to see some of the shiny baits. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and open up our shed. And I mean, it's very humid in here and uh i had a friend come over and we won't be using this rod today because i had a friend come over yesterday and he messed it up <laughs> so it's now in a complete bird's nest and it's going to be difficult to use so we are going to be using our new rod uh the american eagle uh american hero speed stick um oh i said e i said american eagle um, but yeah, the, this will be the rod that we're using. Now this lure, oh my goodness. Like I said, I had a friend come over yesterday and this exact, uh, jerk bait that we have rigged up, uh, got caught in the tree way over there. If you can see the end of my rod tip, that tree way over there. Um, it got caught in that tree and I wound up being able to pull it out. Now, as you might notice, um, yes, I have a haircut and... <laughs> Um, but it's, you're probably wondering, where's my microphone? I usually have a microphone on these videos and I'm not going to be using it anymore. Not because I, not because I totally lost it because it will soon be superseded by, uh, a new mic. I'm not going to spoil anything, but, uh, that will be what's going to happen. So let's go ahead, get out there and let's see what we can catch. It wasn't me over there. Did you hear that? There's a splash. Just trying to readjust this. Sorry, guys. Whoa. There's frog eggs right there. I'm not going to touch them. But if you can see them, I'll kind of point them out here in a second. Look. I kind of use my rod tip. I'm not going to touch them with the bait. You can see them. That little black spot right there. Those are frog eggs. Oh, I touched them. Crap. <laughs> I actually picked up a bunch of frog eggs last year around this time. I didn't think it was around time yet for them to be laying eggs. And that uh, focus on fishing. That's actually pretty cool. I, I haven't seen a thing of frog eggs here in a while. That was too close. That's a fish. Hello. Are up on the bank um but it stormed a lot last night yep that's a brush pile flex man oh no 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 no, no. i'm in the freaking tree Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not anymore. But that was meant to be a, a little bait fish brush paw. 
as I saw in the fishing tournament video, Jesse actually caught a, a small little bass in here. In this area. Oh, what the freak? What are you doing? Oh, the hook got caught up on the line. Of course it did. There we go. Hello. It's kind of cast out that way a little bit. I've got ants all on me. What the freak? Oh, I have uh, stepped in their home, it appears. And I did not know it. Ow. I've got fire ants all over me. And I did not know it. They're on my feet. Nope, they're just on my hands somehow. Get off. They are still all over me. What the freak, dude? This one's biting me, but I can't feel anything. Now that one's on my leg. Hold up, guys. I'm going to check to see if I got any more. Okay, that seemed to be good. I think when I was fixing my bait right there, uh, the butt of my rod wound up going into uh, the hill. And they wound up just climbing up on it. God, dude, I haven't been stung by fire ants in so long. That hurt. going to switch it up a little bit we're going to hook up a buzz bait uh then we're going to put on our popping frog on something else on another rod and then what the freak? and uh then we're going to put a normal frog on something else so let's go do that real quick Okay, I got a popping frog and a hummer on the rods, popping frog and the cork and speed stick hummer. So we're going to head back um, to that tree for now. We're going to kind of unleash the hummer on them, see if they have any response to that. Because that's what we're just trying to get right now is a reaction bite. Um, if we could get them to even like nibble it, I can tell myself I've got fish in my pond um and if they catch the frog well or if they even bite a frog first off we could say we finally caught a fish on a frog it's kind of it's probably hard for y'all to believe that uh i've never caught a fish on a frog before but that is true um never have and hopefully will one day and hopefully it'll be in this pond i think the frog might actually be a good option right now because of the fact that we've got um all the frogs in the pond basically on the shore laying eggs um so yeah maybe this will do something for us we're gonna start off with the buzz bait though and that was not a great throw not at all where I want it. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh! Did y'all see that? That was a big fish. That was a big fish. Oh my God. I have no idea if y'all saw that. That was a giant fish. If y'all didn't see that, I know y'all heard that. Oh, that gave him backlash. Okay. It's like, it's all. That was a big fish. Oh my God, that was a big fish. I'm, I'm up and about now. I gotta see if like I'm getting backlash though. Okay, I'm not getting backlash. Good cast? Yep. All right, let's go. He wanted that. Mm. 
Nothing. We might have to go on the other side, kind of bring her back. That would be a good throw right there. Just kind of pull the rod out a little bit so that it might not run into the stakes. It still might though. Freaking blew up on us and then ghosts us. That was a big fish. I saw her back too, like, that's how much she blew up by. Like, I was, I saw her. That was bad. Ooh, did not like the feel of that. I did this thing like some move in the air a bit. A massive blow up, which is good news. So we've got big fish in here. Uh, well, we've got fish in here to say the least. That's evident. I'll keep fishing this pond and I'll keep filming. Um, when I do, uh, I'll film. If I don't film, I'll film videos. If I catch anything. Um, like little short videos, um, and just to keep you guys updated, but we got information that we do have things in here. They're just not real, really, uh, willing to bite just yet. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, uh, comment down below what sort of fishing videos we should be doing. We should do next. I'm still working on the bait review videos. I haven't exactly figured out how I'm going to uh, do the rest of them yet because I want to review everything that I have in my shed. Um, and I know y'all are probably like, oh my goodness, that's going to take you a long time. And you know, it's what else. And I want to review other baits. And I've got like loads of baits and I've got more coming along the way. So yeah, um, comment down below any of your ideas and whatnot uh i'll see you all in the next one peace